Okay, so now it's time to talk about a new coding concept that was introduced in the factory pattern, and that was ABC Meta. Now, ABC Meta classes are a development tool to help you to write classes that conform to a specified interface that you've designed. So ABC Meta refers to abstract base classes. Now, the benefits of using ABC Meta classes to create abstract classes is that your IDE and PyLint will indicate to you at development time whether you're implementing or inheriting classes conform to the class definition that you've asked them to. Okay, so let's look at this UML diagram and we can see there are three chairs and they all implement the iChair interface, which describes the get dimensions method. Now, I could add a fourth chair and forget to add a method or even spell it wrong or use a different method which doesn't conform to the iChair interface. Now, you're normally not going to know that that's a problem until runtime, but the ABC meta classes will tell you at development time that there is a problem. So let's look at that in action. Okay, so open your IDE. Mine is VS Code. So I want to open up Chair Factory. So double clicking that, Small Chair and Interface Chair. Okay, so let's go to Small Chair and forget to implement Get Dimensions. So I'm just going to comment that out. Control S to save. Now, if I press F1, start typing the word lint, I get an option to run the linter. So let's type that. And my IDE is telling me now that there is a problem with Chair Factory. Okay, so let's look at Chair Factory. And it's telling me there that there is abstract class small chair with abstract methods instantiated. The error message is not that clear when used in the IDE like this, but at least it's telling me that there's some problem with small chair. And also when you press F1 and you run linting from the VS Code IDE, it only checks the files that are open in the IDE like this. So that's just a small caveat if you're using PyLint like that in the IDE. But actually PyLint runs better when you run it from the command line. So if I was to do a PyLint check on small chair, like this, do PyLint factory small chair dot py, it actually tells me that method get dimensions is abstract in class i chair but is not overridden. So PyLint has told me at design time or development time before I even run the program using Python that there is a problem in the code. Right? And there's no point in me running the code because I can see there's a problem. And if I was to run the code, Python factory client.py, that was telling me there's a there's a problem. Can't instantiate abstract class small chair with abstract method get dimensions. Anyway, we can see there's a problem. Okay, so let's fix up the code. So I'm just can press control Z and save and then press F1 again and rerun linting in the IDE. Okay, so the error is no longer there. Okay, so the next thing, abstract interfaces are not instantiated directly in your scripts, but instead implemented by subclasses that will provide the implementation code for the abstract interface methods. Example, in the last video, we didn't create iChair, but we created a small chair that implements the methods described in the iChair interface. Okay, so the abstract interface method is a method that is declared but contains no implementation. So these two things together are really saying that you don't need to use ABC meta classes and interfaces that you've created in your final Python code. Your code will still work without them. So let's look at this. So if I just remove the iChair interface from small chair, so now if we look at the UML, small chair is no longer implementing iChair, but it will still work because I have the correct method there already. So it's not get dimensions here that's actually being executed, it's get dimensions in the small chair class that gets executed. So let's just run that and prove that it still works. Factory client py, there we go, and it works. But at the same time, if I create a small chair and I forgot to add get dimensions or even spelt it incorrectly, like getting dimensions, and I press F1, and run linting. Well, the IDE hasn't picked up there's any problems. And if I ran the linter on small chair, like I did before, PyLint factory small chair, while well, it's telling me there's an unused import, let's just tidy that up because I'm not using that import anymore. And there's another PyLint error missing functional method doc string. 
I'll just put something there that's piling suggesting that and let's try that again piling factory small chair okay so it tells me 10 out of 10 so right now there is a problem in that code it's going to break but we don't know that because our ID hasn't picked it up and neither has pilot so let's try to run that code Python factory client py and it tells me small chair object has no attribute get dimensions right so that's the benefit of using ABC meta okay so let's re-add the iChair interface Press F1, run linting. Now the idea he's told me is a problem. And the same thing with pylint. Pylint factory small chair py. Method get dimensions is abstract in class, but it's not overridden. So there we go. Doesn't matter that I have a get dimensions, it's spelled incorrectly. So I now need to just fix up this code and press F1, run linting, and there we go. No errors detected in the IDE or pylint. There we go. I don't know. Trailing new lines. So let's just fix that one. Pylint doesn't like extra white space, so Control Alt F just to format. There we go. Pylint small chair, 10 out of 10, excellent. And that should run Python. There we go. That works. Okay, so let's look a little more closely now at this interface chair here, where we import ABC Meta and we also import the abstract method. That's because I'm using it just here. It's that abstract method decorator, which is telling the IDE and Pylint that it must be overridden in the implementing class or inheriting class. So I can take that away instead and I chair and that as well, and also remove that because it's now unused and press F. F1 and run linting. Okay, so we have no problems there, but we still do have a problem if I was to still forget to implement the dimensions method in the implementing class. Control S. Okay, so F1 pilot or run linting. No problems detected. Now, what's happening now because of the removal of the abstract method decorated down here it is inheriting the existing get dimensions which actually doesn't do anything so if i was to run that python xc factory client py it returns none small chair is now inheriting the get dimensions from i chair which is not really an abstract interface anymore you could say print please implement and there we go we get an error at runtime saying please implement but it's still not telling me at design time of the potential problem so let's put abc meta back add the meta class equals abc meta to the i chair abstract method f1 run linting and now we see the error at design time there's a problem with small chair okay there we go, ABC Meta. That's what it's used for, it's a tool. You don't need it, your code will still work without it, but it's just very useful. If one run linting. Okay, so the other benefit of using abstract meta classes like that is it also helps other developers who might be working on your code that they need to conform to a particular interface. And also note that throughout my code, examples and the rest of the course, I will prefix interfaces with a capital I. So you see here it says I chair, and you'll see that throughout all the remaining code as well. That it's an interface when I'm intending it to be an interface, that it will have an I in front of it. Okay, so the next little detail to to be aware of here is the static method decorator here. Now, an abstract interface method doesn't contain any body. So there's no code in here. There's no print anything or add numbers or run other Python instructions. It's just a doc string. It's just a string saying it's a static interface method. So it doesn't need to contain anything. So, and I'm using static method to enforce that. If I took static method away like this, it's now telling me there's a problem with the get dimensions function. It's saying method has no arguments. So it's expecting that I should at least have a self reference because methods inside a class by default expect at least a reference to itself. So that is now saying okay, but having that self suggests also that I should be using that self somehow in the method body. So it's actually useless there. So if you use the static method decorator, you can then just get away with that. Right? So that's actually correct it's just a static method get dimensions it actually doesn't do anything and that is okay so that's why i use static method in this case here so it doesn't matter that it contains nothing just a doc string that does nothing because the inheriting class will implement the code in the abstract method okay get dimensions small chair there we go that's the actual get dimensions method there or the the actual body of the get dimensions method implemented in the small chair class okay so that was abc meta and i use abc meta in almost all the examples in this documentation because it helps me at design time to make sure my code is correct. Excellent.